everybody. So one thing I have been really loving lately that I just wanted to share quickly is I'm loving the look of what I've got on my eyes today, kind of a thicker upper eyeliner with a winged cat eye. And I've had a couple requests on how to do this. So I'm going to do that later, probably tomorrow. But what I wanted to show you just really quickly is how you can use easy everyday things to kind of complete your makeup look. So I haven't put any eyeliner or eyeshadow or anything on my bottom lashes or mascara actually. So if you can kind of see, and I'm going to look up, no mascara. However, and to keep in mind, I do have my eyeliner tattooed. So that line that you see um, is that is permanent on me on both sides. But I didn't. I just since I did such a heavy liner on the top, I didn't want to do anything too drastic on the bottom. And I kind of like the softer look. And kind of, I'm really into this natural look lately too. So what I'm going to do to just kind of finish off the look that I've got today is I am going to take something that everybody has in their house, which is awesome. The Q-tip. Oh, come on. How can you live without them? I'm going to take a Q-tip and in, in, instead of using a brush to put, to kind of blend in some color here on the bottom, I'm going to use a Q-tip because sometimes I don't particularly have a good brush to do this with. And I'm not going to go buy a brush that, you know, I can use a Q-tip and get the same effect. So, I have got MAC. This is corduroy. And it's just kind of a neutral, well, kind of a warm brown. There's no shimmer or shine to it. Um, it's one that I love uh, a lot. And I'm just going to load the Q-tip with some color. See that? <sighs> kind of shake it off. And then I am just going to make sure you can see this. Go underneath my eye and into the corner. Um, I'm going to grab actually another Q-tip because that tip of it is weird. I don't know. So loading the Q-tip, about that much color. And just to kind of give a little bit of an effect without going too heavy, like I said, I'm just going to kind of blend in some color on the underneath and I'll do it on this side I've already done it on this side but just I'll just add a little more just so you can kind of see so I'm just using a q-tip and making just kind of short little strokes and I'm going to take it clear into the inner corner and just give it a smudgy smoky look now this might look a little different on you if you don't have permanent eyeliner which to me would be awesome even prettier this kind of softens my eyeliner but you could do this look um, with doing a little bit of a, a black liner first or none at all and I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm just gonna kinda wipe the excess that kinda falls underneath and that's it and those are my eyes for the day and so I've got you know kind of dramatic on the upper lid lower no mascara check this out okay no mascara on the lower lid on the lower lashes um, and I think it looks good I think it's fun for a change to kind of switch it up so I don't know give it give it a shot use household items that are cheap and easy you can't beat a q-tip I mean come on already right so try it out I love when you guys send me the after shots of when you use some of my techniques so keep doing that and I'll post them and feature them and uh, have an awesome awesome day